Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of me showcasing my garbage and my um, my projects and whatever and sharing ideas and yeah, anyway, um, <clears throat> in this video I want to share some inspiration with other people that are willing to develop and um, solve problems and garbage and just have fun you know so <clears throat> uh what are we talking today today i'm going to show you what i'm building with the what i'm how i'm doing with the language learning gamification thing hopefully this video will be short i'm trying to make it short this is my like fifth take on this video so uh please bear with me um but what are we going to talk about? Okay, the language learning gamification thing. Um, I stepped down from Osu Gango, which was basically a custom rule set that I built for Osu that implemented Anki. If you're interested, there's a, there's a link to the video in the description where I showcased that thing. But <clears throat> now in this video, I want to showcase how I moved from that. I basically started developing a custom backend for... Uh, spaced repetition primarily because I don't want to deal with Anki anymore. It's uh, I think its API is quite limiting and Even trying to develop my own custom uh, Anki connect plugin for the API It's still quite limiting because there are certain features that, that I would like to have that I cannot that I cannot have so I Said you know what let me build my custom API and uh, well, that API is called not Gango. What the hell, Monar. It's on my GitHub, and it it's similar to Anki. Basically, it's like it runs on Python. It uses the Flask uh, Flask library for for routes, and um, uh, it stores the data in, inside of a SQLite database. So basically, a file. Okay, one file. Now, you might be wondering, wondering, did you build anything with this? Did you build anything that implements this backend? Because now, you can see we have this backend running here on 5000. And there might be like Dex, uh, Dex in here, there, there might be cards, there might be there are intervals whenever you have to see them again and whatever. It's basically like Anki just you stripped down the freaking front end and made a lot simpler and just yeah. So like you like like I said, now you might be wondering, did you build anything with this? Did you build anything that integrates this? Yes I did. That's why I didn't post anything on my channel for the past three weeks, because I'm losing my mind over this fucking garbage. And yeah. This is the first prototype of a simple example of how you could implement Mon R into a game. Like, I'm going to publish this on my GitHub so that at least people can take a look at it. But in short, it's basically like the also rule set. You basically get things fall down and you have to select the correct translation. And if it's wrong it will go into this direction it will, it will slide to the left if it's right but you still have to review it today or in this session it will slide it down and if it's gone for good like if you, so if you select it if you picked it right and um the you will probably see it in the next few days or if it's outside of your review ahead limit uh it will slide to the to the to the right and it will turn green so, I mean, yeah, and this uses the, the Monar API, like you can see here the calls happening. So it's literally calling this as we speak. But you can see the interface is kind of garbage. So I said, you know what, let's just, let, let this be a um, basic example. I'm going to publish this on GitHub so that if anybody is interested, you can take a look at it. But other than that, um, I started working on another project 
that also will use Mon, Mon API, and this one will be, actually be a game, a game for Android, a game for phones. Also open source because I'm all for open source only, and at least at the moment. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, imagine this. Let me show you how the game should should at least look like. Imagine this, something like from this perspective of, or from maybe like this kind of perspective, I'm still deciding. Um, where like words instead of plates fall down, like plates fall down here on the main line, or on the primary line, they fall down and you have to pick the correct translation either here or here, and you pick it by sliding up or left. Uh, in this case, if it's from this perspective, yeah, up or left. And you, sli you slide it, and then the plate will slide there and go down. And yeah, if you did it, if you pick it the correct translation, it will turn red, it will turn green. And if you pick it the wrong translation, it will, it will I don't know, um, turn red or explode or something or whatever. I don't know. So <clears throat> that's what I'm building right now. And let me tell you, if there's anybody watching this now, and you're a designer, you are an, an inspired designer that also wants to learn languages or solve problems, or maybe you just know how to uh, do 2D or 3D art, or, a, or, a, or you are a developer, and you have some experience with developing things, I mean, if you would like to contact me for any collaboration or any volunteering, it would be more than, I would be more than glad to answer you. So you have my uh, contact email in my in my about me of my channel and probably also my in, in the description of this video. Um, so I'll be more than happy to collaborate on something, and specifically on this game and many others that are to come. And so yeah, let me just before before closing this video real quick because we are at I forgot how many minutes, but okay. Um, let me just share with you some um, some other ideas that I that I like started just um, developing. There's actually not many, but just imagine, okay, like the existing games that we have, for example, that are super fun if you play it with other people, like Uno through the through the web browser, or chess for the for the inspired ones that like play chess. Like imagine. You would you play chess in some sort of um, another competitive way, and would be doing also reviews at the same time. Like imagine there would be like there could be combos for language learning in chess. Wouldn't that be cool? J like to play with your friends and challenge them to a, a lingo chess or something like. Imagine oh my god, or maybe <clears throat> like you're playing Uno and there would be. Um, I don't know, you would implement some sort of, uh, you could, you would implement phrase repetition in some sort of way. I still have to flush through those ideas and um, some, like get some sort of feel of how they, they could work on paper. Um, and I might decide to share it on my blog. So there's also a link to the blog in the description if you really want to. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, just imagine how many other games that you have on the web, like the simple ones. They could be easily implemented with space repetition as well. And that's that's probably what I'm aiming for. And that's what I'm aiming to inspire as well, because I'm so, I'm so like, there's no way, there's no way literally that there's there, there are so many developers and nobody still managed to solve this problem, like gamifying language learning or gamifying space repetition in such in such a way like unless it's me like th that i'm the first one but there's it's just mind-boggling that there's nobody that solved it so far because i tried to google i tried to google many times and just nobody came up so i mean yeah if you if you know any examples of people that actually built something like this or are interested please let me know uh if you want to give some feedback, please give me some feedback. I, I'm more than happy to hear some thoughts on, on this. And if you want to collaborate, oh my god, please don't hesitate to do so because it will be 
an amazing thing to collaborate on. Just the fact that there's nobody that that built something like this gives me joy because at least I'm the first one to actually build something like this. Or at least I feel like, I don't know, just expanding the the ideas of, of what the developers could, uh, could solve, you know. So, I mean, <clears throat> I guess that's for the video. Um, I don't know how, like, we'll see how we will go from here. But just know that I'm definitely not stopping because this, this looks way too interesting to to let it go. So, um, yeah, I guess see you whenever I develop something cool. If I'm going to develop something cool and like, we'll have to show it, I'm just gonna show it on this channel or on my blog. And it's a, it's also possible that I will in the next video um, start a coding session for this project. If I will feel like, because I've I've been going through some stress lately, and I just wanna I don't wanna complicate everything through videos, because coding sessions okay they are cool, but they also can get kind of boring. So I don't know, but I might make one. I might I might like uh, fire up one or two or three, because it's been a while since I did some. So um, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. If you if you're curious about the music, it's in the it's in the description. A lot of people comment saying that the music is is cool, and I do share your opinion. the 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 music is really amazing, so I'm more than glad to share the playlist with you that I'm building over time, and also the specific songs that I'm playing. The current one being the Better Day from Oleg Bionic. God bless this song. I love it. So yeah, I mean, other than this. Um, I will report it if anything cool happens while I'm developing this, or if any other ideas um, come to my mind. And other than that, uh, I guess see you in the next in the next video.